A new study is now revealing that one of the largest patches of pollution on the planet also happens to be teeming with life. And with the help of Bay Area researchers, they're learning what it means for the ocean and possibly for our own coast. ABC 7 News weather anchor Spencer Christian has the details. So this is a frogfish. Aren't they cool? Marine ecologist Chela Zabin has always considered the humble frogfish a remarkable sea creature, but not for the reason that has her attention now. Mm -hmm. Instead of its normal habitat, this one was plucked from a man-made environmental disaster zone, a massive stretch in the Pacific Ocean known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And the thing that's really interesting about the garbage patch is it's essentially made, recreated, a coastline, a floating coastline that has that three-dimensional structure that a lot of these coastal species depend on. And it's sort of become a substitute environment. A substitute environment made up of an estimated 80,000 tons of plastic, fishing nets, and trash floating in the Pacific. We got a close-up look last year when the recovery ship Kwai returned to Sausalito with its cargo hold overflowing. You name it, it's in there. Mary Crowley directs Ocean Voyages Institute, which organizes the cleanup missions that have now expanded into an unexpected program of scientific research and providing specimens. We've discovered a tremendous amount on the expeditions. And then, you know, if you look closer, you can see uh, things that are, are growing out there. Yeah, so this is a muscle. Growing and in some cases thriving. Back at the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center in Tiburon, Chela Zabin is helping to identify specimens from what are believed to be at least 46 different species, everything from tiny crustaceans to larger fish. And floating along with them are several critical questions. If those mounds of plastic can support life, could they also spread quickly into the marine food chain? Or perhaps carry invasive species from one continent to another? If these coastal species that are only found on one, one side of the Pacific associate and are able to live out their lives and reproduce and perhaps grow in number on this floating garbage patch, they may get close enough to the other side of the Pacific, to our coast. Dr. Zabin says many of the key questions are still left to be answered. In the meantime, Mary Crowley says her organization is hoping to add a new vessel in the near future, joining a fleet that now has a dual mission to help understand the ecological effects of a massive floating garbage patch at the same time they're working to clean it up. In Sausalito, Spencer Christian, ABC 7 News. And researchers say some of the species found in the patch are native to the coast of Japan and they believe may have been pulled far out into the ocean during the massive Tohoku tsunami back in 2011. Wow.